Hey guys, James with Digital Learning here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way on how you can connect your iPad directly to your Promethean New Line or TV, whatever panel you have in your classroom. So let's go check it out. Okay, so now here you can see we have the Promethean board uh, and here's the setup that I'm gonna use. I've got my iPad and the seventh generation iPads that we have in the district, they actually support a stylus. So if you have an opportunity to get a stylus, this is an Apple Pencil, but they make other styluses that you can use. So you can turn this actually into kind of like a writing uh, and annotation device too. So I've got an HDMI cord. I've got a power cord for this little dongle because this little adapter needs power. So I'll show you the setup once I get it connected. Okay, so here's the iPad. I've got it connected to this little adapter. The adapter has the HDMI cable. HDMI cable is going to one of the side ports here on the Promethean board. Uh, yes, you have some ports over here, but I wouldn't plug them there because there's a lot of movement, students, desk, whatever case may be, those cables may get damaged. So I'll use the ones on the side over here. And then the last thing is this little adapter needs power. So I have uh, just a little Apple charger with cable here that is giving it power. Okay, so iPad's on. I come over here to my Promethean panel or whatever display you have. You're looking for the source and it'll show me I have something plugged in. I'm gonna tap that and then I should be able to see just a second as things adjust, there's the iPad right there. So the great thing about the setup is when I move something here, you can see there's no lag. Okay, sometimes when we're casting or using screen share, it can be kind of a, a few seconds different slag. Sometimes it can be 10, 15, sometimes 20 seconds. But if I'm doing it here, I've got things directly connected here. There's not gonna be lag. Okay, so why do I have my iPad connected physically to a panel that I can cast from? Well, sometimes there's lag, right? And so if I do it this way, again, no lag. We already demonstrated that. But another thing is sometimes we have document cameras in our classrooms. They can be kind of big, bulky, and may take up a lot of space. I can model and still do the same modeling on an iPad. So I'm doing the same thing, I'm just using a different device. So I have a couple of apps here. One is the Notes app and one is PowerPoint. So I'm gonna hit on the Notes app. And so if I start a new note, I have an option with this little camera icon right here. I can tap on it. I can hit choose photo or video. I can save an activity maybe or a worksheet, whatever the case may be. I can take a screenshot of it and I can add it here into this note. And what I'm gonna do is make this note full screen. And then if I take my Apple Pencil and when I tap one time on it, it's gonna kind of put it in this area where I can sketch. So I've got the markup tool right here. If I tap on that markup tool, make sure I've got my pen selected, I've got a color that I like. What I can do then is go through and mark up this document. Okay, I can do highlighting as well. There's a highlighter on here. So I can do very similar things that I would do maybe on a document camera. I can do those same things here on the iPad. When I'm done with this, the coolest thing about it is if I hit the share button, I can connect my drive, I can connect Google Classroom, and I can definitely share those directly with students. Okay, another uh, app that I like to use is PowerPoint right here. So I'm gonna hit on PowerPoint. PowerPoint is super dope, y'all. Now on some of the tabs at the top, on the mobile version and on the desktop version, you have the option here for drawing. Okay, so I get drawing tools there. I select the pen, pencil, marker. Then what I can do is I can go ahead and kind of mark up this document the same way. So I'm doing the same thing, modeling, uh, annotating, highlighting, uh, working out calculations, doing the same thing. I'm just using a different device and I don't have to be kind of connected here. If I want to untether, having a great day on the internet, I'll untether, I'll screen share, and I can share that stuff directly here on the panel. So hope this helps.